Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Trophonet and welcome back to our XCOM 2 Commander playthrough. We're uh, ready to go on to a special guerrilla operation mission that we got from scanning a certain rumor. And uh, in this mission, Operation Wolf Saga, I really like that name. Uh, we need to destroy an alien relay, sounds easy enough, especially with uh, two grenadiers uh, alongside ourselves. So uh, let's launch this mission. We also have two rangers. Uh, sharpshooter with EMP rounds and of course Emma who can do some hacking if we need to Sky Ranger deployed. So I really Sky like Ranger these deployed. extra missions because commander even though it's a higher difficulty I don't feel like we get all that much uh, all that many missions Shen came across an odd series of transmissions coming out of this region and we've narrowed it down to a hidden alien communications relay transmitting to the Advent Network. We can't pass up any opportunities to disrupt their progress on the latest operation. So we're moving in to take out that relay. Neutralize any hostile contacts near the site. Lock it down and destroy the target. So I do like a bit more missions uh, because, well, missions give you more supplies, give you more opportunities to uh, boost your soldiers' strength and all that and yeah it's just generally nice to have more missions of course it makes it more difficult but on this i kind of feel like we have a, a beat on things with uh, our soldiers now and that also means that we're gonna start heading uh, further and further with the story because we can Menace one five the communications relay is up ahead move in and destroy the target Seems easy enough. It's one of these urban missions with the bridge uh, crossing over the level. Um, I generally like these. Don't see any enemies over here. So I'll see you guys whenever we spot some first enemies. And there we go. Looks like an advanced mech, lancer and something with... Ooh, shit. And an Andromedon and a Viper. That's five enemies. Ah, it's another mech. That is interesting. I think I'm gonna move to the left. Try to get out of sight of the two mechs. What else is that? I oh! The Andromedon is tearing up the place. Um, I think Yang is the only one who sees the guys on the right anymore. I'm just gonna quickly check. But I don't think Chaz can see... Oh, he does. He still just barely sees the mech, but I can, I can fix that. So, let's move Jazz over here. And then Yang move her over here. Uh, that kind of blocks everybody off from the bridge, but that's not too bad. Because uh, now I think those guys are out of sight. Yeah, I don't see them anymore, which is good. Because I want to focus my efforts on the guys on the left here first. That Viper and that Andromedon. Um, Vinny, get a bit closer. A bit of a better position. What was that? Was that just the Andromedon moving? or? I want to be careful that I don't see anybody else. Because otherwise I'm going to be fucked. Is tough. Just stay over there for now. Ulrich over here. And I'm wondering if I can blow all of that up. Because they're at a higher position. So if I blow the... Ooh, I can actually even try and blow up the... Uh, the gas station as well. Oh, there we go. That's, that's more like it. So that gives us two exploded gas stations. And it should shred most of the armor. Um, if I could have gotten Yang a bit closer, I would have used her. But yeah, this is going to have to do. Boom! Indeed, boom. Goodbye. Holy shit. Yep, there goes the Viper. Wow. I can't even see the Andromedon. He's immune to fire damage, apparently. And he's hiding behind that wall. But I think... 
Can't I just use the rocket launcher from here and just fire away at this cover? That is exactly what I'm going to do. So he only has one armor left, but that that um, that cover is really, really bothering me. So let's just fire away at that. Rocket launcher in the face. And it seems like it shreds his armor as well. Can't really see it from over here, but... Now, Jazz, since you're so close, 82% shot, which should be able to kill him outright. And there we go. I think this is the fastest we've taken care of an Andromedon. And yes, I know I need to kill it again. Wow, with that Inferno, this looks amazing, although I can't really see anything. Um, Lightning Hands, 87% chance. Well, we're going to have to take it. And of course he misses you, god damn idiot. Come on, focus. Yes indeed, focus. So let's try that again, just to do a bit of damage. That is something at least. Because now we're forced to... Uh... Oh yeah, hack defense increased. I'm gonna quickly check how much that is right now. I'm on it. Although I might have just put her in a position that she can't see him anymore. God damn it. Um. Damn. I fucked myself. I thought I would have had line of sight over here, but apparently not. How much does the EMP dot bomb do? 10 damage. He has 8 left, so yes, I'm just gonna use the EMP bomb. And let's take care of that. Done and done. So let's move over here so I can see where those guys are going. The now. two mechs and the uh, the Lancer. There we go, back in our sights. I'm just gonna put him on Overwatch, we don't need to do anything else. They're kind of moving back. Yeah, okay, they saw me. That was to be expected, I think. Doesn't look like they took much cover though, and I think... Uh, what's the plan going to be? I think I'm gonna use Yang and use an Acid Bomb. If I can, because I don't really see a very good position to put her in. Let's put her over here as a start. Let's use an Acid Bomb. On these two uh, max. There we go. Catch indeed. Armor shredded and acid burn added because max aren't immune to acid. Then we have. Let's see. I think I'm gonna use. He doesn't see the one. Mac over there, so I am going to move him a bit. Just put him over here. Seems doable. And you might already guess what I'm going to do. Is now it's time for face off. So 80%, 80%, and 73% might do a lot of damage. Here we go. And one hit. Two. A uh, miss. Fuck. Well, he did destroy the back Mac. Not too shabby. Yeah, a bit shabby. I would have liked it differently, but never you mind. We still have a lot of troops left. I would like that loot. I really want to want to have that loot, but I think it's high time I use my sword on this Lancer, although I can't kill him. Damn it. So maybe get the loot. Let's put Ulrich over here. I'm going to have to be pretty certain that I can kill... What was that? I heard something on the left move. Yeah, there we go. Oh, wow. There's three more enemies. It looks like an Archon. Can't really see it from over here, but I think it's an Archon. And two... Shield Bears or something like that. Maybe two Max, that could also be the case. Um, <clears throat> 83 on the Max, 63 on the Lancer. I do want to kill that Lancer. But first, I think if I move Emma over here, 
I might actually be able to hack the heavy mech. Let's see what our chances are. Haywire's a go indeed. But I'm really curious now because I didn't really weaken him all that much. Uh, 83 to stun it, 42 to take control. I'm not going to risk it. Um, yeah, it's not, not worth the risk. I have enough shots to take it down. So, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. Ulrich, let's try your shot at the Lancer first. If that succeeds... Oh, straight in the face. Yes, Ulrich never misses. It didn't kill the Lancer, but it took most of the damage off, so I can kill him with a, short, a sword strike if I want to. Um, Emma, you still have combat protocol, though, and that does quite a bit of damage, and it's guaranteed, so... I'm gonna use uh, Jazz to take out the Lancer, hopefully not triggering whatever is inside, because otherwise we're gonna be fucked again. There goes the Lancer. He dodged it, but that didn't care. Ooh. Please don't. Please don't. Ooh. That was a bit risky, but yeah, we got it. Uh, I'm gonna go closer to kill that mech. He's not on Overwatch. He's still suffering from the acid burn as well. So let's just try 98% shot. So that should hit. And I'm kind of banking on it. Yeah, thank you very much. Okay. So now we can use combat protocol from Emma to kill the mech immediately. And uh, not worry about anything. Ah, sweet bliss. Sweet bliss. Goodbye. There we go. Only four damage. That was odd. And a promotion for Emma. That is really, really nicely done as well. Uh, I think that concludes our turn. Yes. That sounds like an Archon and another Mac or Andromedon. There's also an unknown enemy type. So I'm going to have to be careful about that as well. First thing I'm going to do is reconceal jazz there we go so now he's back in concealment and now he can safely move further because i think we have a few enemies inside of the building well i'm actually certain that we have because oh so it's an archon and two mutants don't know where the archon went but they usually stick together but let's I check that out Localisé, but uh, did you actually see some enemies as well? No. Interesting. I'm actually gonna put... Hmm, do I want to risk putting him closer in my lot? We still have a bit of time to take care of everything. So I'm just gonna move everybody Whatever who's at the back up. So we can act once... Uh, Shit hits the fan. I'm wondering if I would see any one of them. Yeah, that mutant is visible through the window, so... I think I might want to risk this. I'm going. Yeah, okay. So I'm going to put Emma there as well. And then Jazz. Maybe just reload for now. Might be able to Bye. use that shotgun in a minute. Uh, put Ulrich next to Kristoff over no here. Problem. And then put everybody else on Overwatch. Because I'm, I'm kind of afraid that that uh, Archon is going to pop out at any second now. Unless they're just, yeah, they're just... Ooh. Oh, and the loot. Yeah, okay, never mind. I forgot about the loot. No biggie, no biggie. Um, let's use Jazz first. I want to see if I spot anything from over here. That shouldn't break concealment, but there's always a chance that it will. So there's the relay. The aliens used this oh, to Jesus most Christ, seriously? Forces. It can punch through armor just as easily as it chews through infantry. Be careful. Okay, I thought there was gonna be another enemy type before Sectopult. But, uh, well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the end game. There's a Sectopult. A giant mechanical unit with uh, five armor. But it is hackable, so it's a pure robot, so I can actually hack it, especially if I shoot at it with the EMP rounds first. With that known, I'm wondering... So the sector pot and the shield bear will only be visible once I go inside of the building, probably, so... If I trigger something from over here... 
We should be fine for now, although I will... Jesus, I will be restricted to entering... From entering the building. Can I actually... I can fire at the sector bolt from over here? That is ridiculous, but... Let's try it out. I'm gonna have to try something. Um, so let's try and put... Kistov... No, not Kistov. Let's put Ulrich over here, next to the car. So he has a... Hopefully a shot at any of those uh, mutons. I don't know where that Archon went. I know there's a third enemy. Oh, there he is. Never mind. I'll take that back. Okay, that's actually fine by me. He spotted... Mm, that is annoying. Because that means we're going to be spotted by the sector pod and the shield bay as well. Oh, shit. Ooh. And that sector pod suddenly has a lot more health than it had before. Oh, shit. Okay. Um, things just got very interesting. Uh, with interesting, I mean I'm gonna start panicking. Okay, let's see what we can do. Because we still have a Mimic Beacon from Jazz. And I think if I put... Uh, Yang closer. I'm actually counting as well. We killed uh, five enemies. And now there's five. No, six. Okay, yeah. So that's all the enemies that are left. So I can move freely if I want to. Um, yeah, Yang move over there. Okay. And then use the acid bomb to damage pretty much everything in that building. Oh, come on. So this is pretty much the best I can do. That hits the sector pod. But not much else. Uh, I won't destroy any cover with this. But at least the armor of the sector pod is gone. And I can maybe attempt at hacking it. But... Whew. It's too bad I can't use the acid bomb to take out more of the armor of the... Uh, the mutons as well, but I can't move it any further, sadly. So yes, this is gonna have to do. Take this! Oh gold! But we're not backing down. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna risk anything. Um, if we could kill at least a few enemies, at least two or three, that would be amazing. But I'm scared we won't be able to. Um, because I have another grenade left. That is that is true. But the problem is I probably won't be able to put it in a nice posi position. Yeah, I do want to hit that, that shield bear over there as well. But what else can we do? We can hit the sector pod. That mutant on the left. And the uh, relay. Which is something I suppose. Let's try that. Because that destroys the uh, the cover of the leftmost mutant as well. Hopefully allowing us to kill it. There we go. And then the next thing I want to do is put Vinny. Ah, oh, Vinny hasn't got... Damn it. So Vinny doesn't have face off yet. Which means that I'm gonna just shoot at the sector pod with the EMP rounds from over here. Uh, keeping him kind of safe. There we go. And that should decrease his hack defense as well, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, there we go. And yes, you might have already guessed what I want to do. Uh, we don't have line of sight at the sector pod just yet. So I'm gonna have to move Emma closer. On your order. Which is dangerous even in its own right. Um, and then we have combat protocol. Uh, no, haywire protocol on a freaking sector bolt. I'm probably going to be able to just stun it. But if I could take control of that thing, that would be amazing. That would be so awesome. 26% to take control. And otherwise, I increase this target's aim and defense stats. I don't want to take control, because that's that's that chance is just too low to even try. But 50-50 for a stun. 
Because stunning it will take it out of commission for a few turns, enabling us to just take out all the other enemies. And the beacon will survive a lot longer as well. So I'm just going to try and stun it. Oh yes, thank you very much. Mechlord trophy earned. Yes, hacking a sectopod is a trophy on its own. So thank you very much. Whew, okay. So that takes it out of commission for a few turns. I think three, if I'm not mistaken. So that it goes to idle. No, two turns. Oh shit. Next up, I have a flashbang as well. But I want to keep that for... Oh, is that all there's left? Oh, Jesus Christ. Um, well, this car exploded already. So I'm going to go... Let's see. Can I do rapid fire after running gun? I think I can. So let's just use running gun. And I want to take out that Archon over here. Running. If I can do that... Then there's two enemies that can't fire... And that means there's still four enemies left that's going to be able to fire at the Mimic Beacon. Which probably means that they're going to have a chance at killing... Well, shooting at least at one of our soldiers. But Archon, double shot to the face. If there's two good shots... Oh, that was a dodge. Nope, we can't kill the Archon. That was a... Oh, seriously? Seriously? One health. If I had face off, he would have been dead. God damn it. Um, then, the mimic beacon. I'm gonna have to be careful. I need to put that in a place where every single enemy spots it. So, sadly, that means I'm gonna have to put it over here. Because I don't want to risk that if, it, if I put it, for example, over here. That nobody of the enemies will see it. And they're gonna start firing at either Kistov or Jazz. So, mimic beacon... Mimic beacon behind the wall here. <clears throat> we have plenty of time left to take out the data transfer. But now, is that mimic beacon going to last long? I don't think it's going to survive more than two shots. So I'm hoping one of those guys is going to actually miss. The Archon gets closer. And even more closer. Probably going to just hit it. Nine damage. That means most of its health is gone. Then the Muton is gonna come close. Is it gonna hit it as well? Through the wall? Yeah. Shit, that is, that is terrible. Ooh, that's three more enemies. That is, he's gonna fire, but... Oh god, please duck. Mm, okay, my armor was shredded. Ooh, I didn't even know that Muton guns shredded armor. Okay, the shield... Ooh, doo -doo -doo -dee -dee. Yeah, he's gonna stab Jazz. Yeah. Nine damage. And I didn't bring a healer. Ooh, for fuck's sake. That is gonna hurt. He's gonna use the shields. That is, um... Menace 1-5 with confirmed destruction of the relay. The alien transmission is down. Eliminate any remaining hostiles and move to evac. Okay. Um. Can I use face off? That is actually all I want to know at the moment. Can I, and how much damage can I do with face off? I am going to put him over here. I think that gives him sight of at least three enemies. Let's try this. Uh, I do want to keep the sector pulled in my sights as well. Okay, this is this is gonna get really really close. Four enemies, that is really good. Um, I'm gonna fire at the sector pod with uh, lightning hands. Oh no, yeah, okay, never mind. That killed the archon, which is not what I wanted to do. God damn it! Oh, face off is still one turn away, which is actually interesting. So that means I do want to fire at the sector pod. Uh, fire pistol at the sector pod. I is is the pistol with the EMP rounds? It's bypassing the shield, isn't it? It seems like it is. 
There we go, 9 damage, and it, it destroys those shields. Does EMP, EMP damage destroy shields? I still have one grenade left, but I don't want to use that before everybody else is out of sight. Um, I don't know what the shield wall ability actually does. Provide height cover to squad mates wherever you stand. Could start firing at them, of course. Because the sector pole is almost dead. But of course, I want to try and kill those mutons first. Jazz is in a really, really bad way, so I think... I don't, I don't think I even have five shots left. And I could use sword strikes. But um, on mutons, that's really, really dangerous and I don't even kill them. I don't even kill them. So how am I going to do this? First off, Jazz, get out of the way. I want you back as far as I can get you. Um... I could do that with a grapple, but losing your shot would be very, very bad, so I don't want to do that. Um, I could just be really ballsy and just try and take out the shield bear, although his his armor is way too heavy. Um, is that a window, actually? Oh. That might actually, might actually be not that bad of an idea. This is risky, of course. I'm still exposing myself to pretty much everything over here. Jesus Christ, that Lancer still has a lot of health. But first, I'm gonna use that... Yeah, that incendiary grenade. We still have one left. And I do want to put that from... Use that from behind full cover. There we go. Incendiary grenade inside of the building. How can I spread that effectively? Can I just put that on this wall and take out... Oh, I can hit all of the, all, all of them. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to use the incendiary grenade to take out these guys. If I'm not mistaken, that should take out the uh, rightmost mutant. Because he is burning, so he's going to die from the burn damage. Okay. We might have a chance at this. Um, I'm probably going to use the flashbang just because that muton is dead. That sectopult, I don't know about the sectopult. I don't know how he's going to react when he comes back. Um, Elite Lancer, I want to take out that guy. So please, Jazz, please kill him. Please kill him. Please kill him. Please. Yes. Thank you. Woo. Okay. I'm starting to... I'm starting to feel better. Um, Jazz is still in a lot of danger. So, please, can I take out... I want to take out something else, too. Um, sure thing. Yang, move up. What is... Do we have a pole? Where? Oh, seriously? How long has that been there? Okay, let's just check it out, then. Because... Oh, my God. And that's going to have gain control of a random enemy for two turns. Yes, yes, that would have been handy to know. Especially with a 99% chance. Jesus Christ. Ah, for fuck's sake. Okay. Now we gain control of an enemy. Don't know which one. Piece of cake. Oh my god, are you freaking serious? Um... Well, guys, we just got control of a sector bot. Um, I don't know how these guys are going to react to that, honestly. It's tough. Go a bit closer. I want to... What? What? Okay, then. Let's just try and kill that uh, mutant. I mean, the bullets are going straight through his face, aren't they? They look like they're going straight through his face. Um, but I do... The sector pole that could use combat protocol, but of course that's really, really useless at the moment. Then just fire at the muton. That was a miss as well. Hopefully the car doesn't explode now. Because Vinny is still behind that car. And then he's stopped with a 96 on the sector pole. Not really something I want to do. But 90 on the muton. That's something I really, really like. Goodbye. 
Goodbye. So now we have only a shield bearer left because the muton is just gonna keel over good. in three, uh, two, uh, one. Oh, th th thank you for ruining my countdown. Thank you for ruining my countdown. That was horrible. Um, let's just move him back over here. I'm going. There we go. And three, and two, and one. Die! Thank you very much. Five damage from burn damage. That is amazing. Is the shield bearer gonna attack the sectopold? Is my question now. He is. What? What? <laughs> I think I'm gonna step on you. I think that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna just step on you. Can I step on you? Where's the sectopold? Oh my god. High stance, granting a height bonus against ground enemies. This action is free. I love this thing. Roth cannon. Holy shit, I've never actually seen the abilities of the uh, Sacrifold. Well, I've seen them in action. But uh, this is just... I can move with this thing, right? Can I move with this? <laughs> I'm just gonna waltz through your cover. Probably destroying it. Uh, and then just put myself over there. Yeah. Oh, I don't destroy the bit he's hiding behind. So, and then the height stance is apparently um, no action. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. And then um, electric field. That's cool, but I did use the high stand, so let's just fire at the shield bay. Goodbye. Wow. That's 7 damage to shredding, and wow. I'm glad I'm not at the receiving end of that blaster. Shield removed, indeed. Um, wait. I can fire again? What? I just moved, changed his height? And now I'm gonna fire again. Um, goodbye. <laughs> this is awesome. And I think that's the last of them. Because, yeah, that's Status gonna count confirmed. as a win, right? All hostiles are down and the area is secure. Uh, Status confirmed. Bradford, there's still a sectopult standing. Do you wanna. Do you want me to take that out? <laughs> Three wounded, but I mean, that finale, I mean, you can't disregard that that was freaking awesome i freaking love this game just because of that the, the unpredictability the mimic beacon got on the fire most even though jazz took quite a hit uh vinny dealt most damage not the sector pot and uh, ulrich made most attacks and jazz moved furthest for once not kiss off that is a uh, a nice change of pace because he got hit because of it as well but uh yeah more missions like that, please. That was tough, but I mean, we got out of there alive, and just gaining control of that sectopod was amazing. So Jazz got a promotion, but is wounded for only six days. What? What? He was he was wounded for five days a few episodes ago, just because he fell off a roof and took two damage. Now he's he took nine damage, I think, and he's wounded for six. I have no idea how they calculate that, but. Uh, implacable or blade storm free sword attacks on any enemies that enter or attack from melee range that would have saved his ass against the uh, the lancer back there so I'm going to go for blade storm although implacable is also really really cool to use after sword kill of course um, but I'm gonna go for blade storm just because I want to have a ranger that's really proficient with blades because uh, we're gonna get blades in a new blade in a second I think uh, and then Emma got a promotion, and we're gonna go for um, Guardian. I think I'm just gonna go for Guardian. So with every successful Overwatch shot, there is a 50% chance that another shot will be taken. Thank you very much. Um, and that's it. Uh, Viper Corpse and Dromedon Rack, Advent Mac Rack. So yeah, everything we killed. Sadly, no loot because oh, I kind of missed that. But we did get a lot of supplies and we countered the resistance informant dark event. Um, and with that, oh yeah, that's why it only takes six days because there was already an engineer. And again, Benito is, Benito is checking up on the guys. 
he's always there. Why is he always there? That's pretty interesting. So that's why it's only six days, because there's an engineer in that uh, facility. So that was a really cool mission. I really liked those. They were really, it was really tough, but it, we got the job done, even though we took a few hits. Uh, but we're going to be able to uh, deal with that in a second. But bridge. Let's see here, because I think... Ooh, again, alien alloys and alien crystals. We just finished scanning, because that mission, we got that from scanning. Um, we build a radio relay over there, so I'm wondering if it's not best to just start and going to, for example, New Indonesia. Or, what is future combat? All GTS tactic costs reduced by 50%. That might actually be a good idea. I don't want to put a radio relay on this um, area because I don't I don't have a connection to any other area that I need to uh, check up on. So if I make contact, that's probably 80 intel, yeah. And then if I just make contact with East Africa first, just to have the region, and then move over to South Africa when I build a radio relay over here, that should give us a nice bonus although I might want to put the relay over here but I'm not really sure if I can actually build a relay on a continent that doesn't have that's not adjacent to a relay but let's first go for East Africa I'm, I didn't mean a continent uh, I mean an area uh, so let's make contact with this region East Africa Commander, we've utilized all of our available I know capacity we can't establish any new contacts until we upgrade our systems I know I know I know um I can actually check that. Can I build a relay over here? Oh, I can. That just take one takes 100 supplies. But I think it's better to just put the relay over here, if I'm not mistaken. Attempting to Reducing the distance. Oh, contact. finally. I've been waiting for that for a while. The Avatar project hasn't proceeded in a Commander, while. The aliens continue to make progress on the Avatar So that's project. only one block. If we're going to slow them down. We'll need to move fast. I wonder if that slows down because we have a lot more regions than we had before. Because we're we have complete control over Asia and Europe at the moment, and we're gonna get closer to. An urgent communication coming in for you now, Commander. I didn't even start scanning. Leading oh. resistance is a daunting task, Commander. But your efforts so far have left many wondering if we have made the right approach. We will have to do better. Why? I mean, we stopped the retaliation, we completed two guerrilla operations, installed the radio relay, and... Yeah. I don't know. Probably because the dark event was completed and Avatar pro process progress was uh, furthered. The aliens are on high alert, making it harder for XCOM to catch them unaware. So that probably means that we're gonna see an increase in their sight radius. And then rural checkpoints stifles the movements of resistance resources, decreasing the supplies of the next supply drop by 50%. I want to stop that at all costs, by the way, because that's a really bad one. Uh, new alien facility construction imminent, which means... that we're gonna get close to that one, but if that happens, I'm just gonna... Destroy this facility over here. So that's no biggie. I'm just gonna head to the supply drop. Commander will need to completely scan this region before we can I don't care, Bradford. I really don't care. Resistance. I wanna have those supplies first. I, we stick around and finish the job, but the choice is yours. I don't like your advice for now, so Alien facility coordinates locked in, Commander. There we go. Avatar project initiated. Alien facility constructed. Uh, and I think that's gonna improve. Oh, I thought that was going to add two blocks, but this is actually good. There we go. Let's ignore all that and ignore all that as well. And go back to the region where we're trying to contact. Sector 12, East Africa. And if the Avatar project goes further, we're going to just go to that alien facility and wreck it. But I think I'm going to do that anyway. Supply raid. That's actually even better. Um, let's launch that mission. Heavy Mac, Trooper, Lancer, Archon, Viper, Sector Pot, Shield Bear. So, EMP rounds, definitely. But I think we Setting can do. For the Western make European do with what we war. have. Um, might actually take Benito again instead of Emma. Although, Emma is doing pretty good as well. Um, and she's back, by the way. Interesting. That's a really interesting setup. I've never done anything like this before. 
but I do want to use Ulrich. Um, so I think the addition of uh, Hugh isn't bad. But I'm going to remove Benito and put Ulrich back if I can, yeah. There we go, that's really, really good. Very difficult mission, 11 enemies and a lot of mechanical units. But if we're lucky as we were the last time, we might actually be able to take control of the Sectopod again. That would be awesome. The Sectopods are awesome. I mean, did you see what we did with that Sectopod? Because we do have a lot of supplies now and I do want to make some new toys. Um... With all those supplies, I think I'm just going to buy both. Um, the fusion blade is really, really good on a ranger that has been specced towards swords. And yes, I think I'm just going to do that. So, plasma lance for our sniper rifles and the fusion blade for our rangers. So, let's get back. And I'm just going to check that out because fusion blades are interesting. Because they're kind of the plasma weapons, but just for swords. Uh, and they have a higher critical chance. They do 5 to 7 damage, so boosted to 7 to 9 with the Blade Master ability. Um, but it has maximum damage and it has also the chance to burn enemy targets. Um, it's still not better than the shotgun, of course, but the hit percentages might be better. And you can do that after an action, of course. Uh, but yeah, that's the Fusion Blade. Am I gonna use Jazz because we just got the Fusion Blade? I don't think we will. Because I've seen what happens if we forget to use a healer. So Hugh is just going to come along as he should. Because, um, yeah, a healer is just so invaluable. So one ranger, two grenadiers, uh, two specialists, and a sniper with EMP rounds. That is going to be the team for next episode. But before we head onto Operation Mountain Strike, I'm going to take a little break. So thank you guys normally for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube and if you haven't already don't forget to give the thought to subscribe to my channel because I'd really appreciate any support you guys can give me. So thanks again enormously for watching and I hope to see you in the next video series. Goodbye!